All right, continuing from where we left off, this is uh, uh, Rails Authentication and Authorization Part 2, uh, specifically on the authorization process. We've already covered authentication in the previous screencast. So right now we can uh, sign in and um, sign out of our application as well as register a new user. Uh, and now what we want to do is be able to block out private resources like this private dashboard. We shouldn't be able to get to that page when we're not signed in. All right, um, to do that, let's um, let's go to our application or uh, app controllers and the dashboard controller and. The way we're going to filter this out uh, and filter out the um, unauthorized users, uh, we're going to do before action. Yeah. User logged in. And when we do this, and then we go to this page, we're going to get an error because that method doesn't exist. And so we need to define this error, but we want to avail or this method, but we want to define it across all uh, applications, uh, across the whole application. So we are going to go to the app controllers application controller, and we're going to define that method here. And then we're going to do a flash message of alert. And we're going to say, please sign in to view that resource. Very nice message. And we're going to re direct to login URL. Now if we hit this page, it's going to head us, head us over to uh, create a new session. So if we go ahead and sign in though, you'll quickly see a problem with this. We're signed in now, go to the private dashboard and it still jets us over there. So uh, the way we're going to handle this is we're just going to return early uh, from this method if uh, current user dot present and so if we go back over here and now we hit private dashboard now we can sign in but if we sign in out. Um, and then hit the private dashboard, we're not allowed to go there. That's as easy as it is. <laughs> it's quite simple to do authorization with a before filter like that. Uh, the last thing that I kind of would like to show you is again, um, uh, one other simplification that we can do, application controller. We can also do def current User, put a question mark on there uh, and do current user dot present to check to see if there is a user there and one other optimization on that one on the current user method not the uh, question mark method uh, but first we're going to use this method here uh, we're going to go to our uh, welcome index and we only want to show this if current user oops and I just messed that all up
go. So now we can do if current user, but this will throw an error. No current user. In order to do that, we need to um, use that in the view. Perfect. So now you can only see that if see who the users are if you're signed in. Perfect. Uh, then the last thing that I want to show, uh, because we are calling this in a couple of different places, if we uh, refresh this page here, you'll see we um, select the user and load the user one, two, three times. And it's caching it, which is a start, but um, the database is caching it, but we want to uh, do this a little bit more efficiently because it still has to pull it out of the, um, the database and load it into a Ruby object and all that. So we can make this a little bit more efficient. So the way we can do that is a common Rails or Ruby idiom of or or equals. Uh, and now, uh, if we get this correct here, reload this page here, and now you see we only have this line once, not the three times that we had before. Uh, and it, what this does is it goes around and it'll just return the current user if it's already set. If it's not, that's what the or is for, set it to, that's what the equals for, this value. Uh, and um, so it'll keep trying if it's nil, um, but if it otherwise, if there is a user, it won't try and, and load that record each and every time. And that'll certainly speed things up for us. Well, that's it. As you can see, um, we can get to the um, about us and the private dashboard uh, with. Um, uh, when we're signed in and when we're signed out, we can no longer get to the private dashboard. There you go. Enjoy.